Hello, this is Rich Bankhead, and this is our final lecture for op-amp circuits. And although there are many applications, I'd like to cover just a couple of those in this lecture. And so for those applications, I'd like to take a look at first a comparator circuit that's using four op-amps in parallel. And then I'd like to take a look at a digital to analog converter using a single op-amp op and a summing circuit. So I'm going to work through both of these examples in um, Microsoft Whiteboard so I can annotate. So I'm going to switch over right now. So first of all, looking at the comparator circuit, notice that the entire circuit is driven off of one 10 volt source. And the idea is that as I send a varying voltage to the op amp inputs, which will come off of this potentiometer, so I have 10 volts into a potentiometer that's a 5k potentiometer and as I turn the knob on the pod I adjust the voltage coming out and so the potentiometer acts as a voltage divider I get a varying voltage between 0 or 10 volts out which feeds the positive input into the op amp and so each of the op amps gets that same signal and when the op amp turns on it powers an LED which turns on. And so in this case, each of the op amps are being used as comparators. Okay, now on the far left part of the circuit, coming off the 10 volts, I have a, a series of voltage dividers going down, and so a series of resistors in, in series, and so that here I get 10 volts, 8 volts here, 6 volts, 4 volts, 2 volts, and then 0 volts ground down here. So what happens with the green part of the circuit is those voltages are fed into the op amp. Okay, And those are reference voltages. They don't change with the changing input voltage from our potentiometer here. So the first op amp is comparing VP to VN, and if, if VP is greater than VN, then the op amp turns on, so it compares. So it's making a comparison between VP and VN, and then turns on. And so in the first circuit, it's comparing versus 8 volts. So if this, if coming off the potentiometer is greater than 8 volts, this turns on. Greater than 6, this turns on, and all the way down the line. And so what happens is if I start with my potentiometer at zero volt output, as I turn it, when I get to six volts, the first potentiometer lights up this LED, or the first op amp lights up this LED when VP is greater than two volts. The second one when VP is greater than four volts, this LED lights up. VP is greater than six volts, this LED lights up, and greater than 8 volts, this LED lights up. And we've seen similar circuits like this on, for example, volume controls. As I turn the volume up, the LEDs light up to give me give you an idea of what position I'm in versus my output. And so it's really an output indicator of the voltage coming off this potentiometer using op amps in uh, parallel. Okay, so it's my first circuit is using a comparator circuit. My next circuit that I'd like to take a look at is a digital to analog converter using a single op amp and a summing circuit. And so imagine that I have four voltage inputs and these inputs are hooked to digital pins. So they're hooked to digital pins on a microcontroller. On and RPi, okay, and the digital pins on an RPi are 3.3 volts when they're 3.3 volts on high, and they're all connected to digital input pins. So each of these, when the voltage is turned on, when the pins are pulled high, they'll give you 3.3 volts, okay? So high will equal 3.3 volts. Now, they feed into my, into my operational amplifier, and so let's solve this operational amplifier um, circuit to figure out what the output will be. So 
here I have VP equals ground, and so VN is equal to ground. So when I do a voltage divider, or a current balance at this node here, I get minus V1 over one, minus V2 over two, minus V3 over four, minus V4 over eight equals, or I'm sorry, minus coming in from the other node, V0 over one is equal to zero. And if I solve for V0, I find that V0 equals negative V1 over one plus V2 over two plus V over four plus V4 over eight. And so this is my generic op amp equation. <clears throat> and so if we, when we're talking digital and analog input, so if we look at our digital input here, we could have, and we're gonna have uh, V1, V2, V3, and V4. And let's see, we have zero, one, I, have, I apologize, zero, 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 one. And then the next one in binary would be zero, zero, one, zero. And moving down one, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, one. These are all zeros. And then zero, zero, oops. Apologize, one, 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 and then one, zero, 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 right? And so these are all the digitals. And so what happens is when, in this case, when V4 is turned on, the pin that's connected to V4 is on, V4 equals 3.3 .3 volts. So I get for V out, I get plus 3.3 .3 divided by eight equal to negative zero, and this is a negative out here, negative 0 0.41 volts. In the second case, I'll get plus 3.3 .3 over eight over four, negative, and that's gonna be equal to negative 0 0.83 volts, and I can fill all the way down. Another example along the same lines would be if I had V1 equal to zero, V2 equal to 3.3, V3 equal to 3.3, and V4 equal to 3.3, what would be my output voltage coming out of my op amp? And I would find that V0 equals zero over one, and this is all has a negative sign out front, plus 3.3 .3 over two, plus three over four, plus 3.3 .3 over eight, and that's gonna be equal to negative 2.89 volts. And so by using my digital binary conversion, I can convert to an analog voltage out and this is a, represent, a representative of a D to A converter using a summing circuit and an op amp. And you could go ahead and complete the, the math here for it. And again, we're using an RPI with four pins, V4, V3, V2, and there are different contributions uh, based upon binary and then the math here to give us that output voltage. And again, the, the maximum voltage of, of skipping down with one, 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 one would be equal to uh, a circuit of V0 equal to negative 3.3 .3 over one plus 3.3 .3 over two plus 3.3 .3 over four plus over eight, and this would be approximately, approximately 
6.6 volts, right? Because I get 3.3 and then almost all the pieces that make up the next 3.3. And so this VCC, negative VCC, would have to be at least 6.6 volts, negative 6.6 volts for it to work. And then this V plus could be zero, right? To get the negative. And if I didn't want negative voltages out of my D to A, I can send it to an inverting amplifier and then invert that signal as well. But I at least need this voltage to get the output here uh, as negative 6.6 .6 volts, at least to maintain this output voltage here. And I forgot the negative sign, so. Anyway, this has been two applications. One, a um, digital to analog converter, and two, a comparator circuit for applications of op amps. And there are many, many more. I just wanted to cover a couple. Um, you can find tons of examples online as well.